Oh, no way. Like, what? How did this happen? If you're aware, I thought last week's episode, episode 6 of Sheet Hulk, was the best episode of the entire show so far. Like, genuinely, not even joking. We actually got a normal character-driven episode, a fun wedding setting, a normal bro hitting on Jen without being a Looney Tunes character, and even some She-Hulk action. Halfway through the episode, we're out here thinking like, wait, are we actually having a good time? I'm not one of those guys that's just waiting around for Daredevil to show up. I like watching Jen, so it was refreshing in episode 6. So you can truly feel my disappointment with the show because this is by far the worst episode of the entire series. Imagine that. Yeah. <laughs> back to back episodes from the best to the worst. Everything that I said about it, episode 6 and how it was actually an episode set in some form of a normal reality in the minds of Hollywood was just too good to be true. Ripped apart not even one episode later. Man, I just don't understand the direction of this show, but I do have a theory of where we're going, which at the end of the day probably isn't going to happen because I think I think about more about this show and its futures than even the showrunners in all likelihood, but I'm going to lay that out for you anyway. First off, the episode starts off with Jen in good old fashioned scent mode after the wedding. I'm sure we're all familiar, we've all been there before, it makes sense. We have a montage of Jen going on dates with Good Boy, Good Boy and Jen spend the night together after a couple of dates, Good boy ghost Jen. Again, a classic case of society right now. With Jen being someone who doesn't really get out and about much, she spends the next couple of days anxiously waiting for a text back from Josh the good boy. But when receiving a call from Abomination's PO explaining that his inhibitor chip has malfunctioned, Jen is asked to come along on the trip for protection. We're then introduced to characters we will be calling Man Bull and Matador Man. Two characters of a cast of forgettable characters we will meet while Blanxi explains to us how he runs a type of peace dojo now that he's out. With Jen's car being destroyed in one of the two's peace squabbles, we then spend the next 30 minutes watching Jen worry about this dude that us, the audience, has only known for about 10 minutes of screen time, if that. Like, I don't understand what's going on. Who cares about this dude? Jen is in her 30s. Why is she even acting like this? It's so childish and insecure. I know I said at the beginning of the episode that it's relatable, but I'm in my 20s. For Jen, this can't be our first ghosting sesh. The episode tries to layer it up by displaying that Jen is going through some form of identity crisis or identity disorder, I guess, where she doesn't really know if people like her for She-Hulk and not Jen, but that's also surface level because she's only been She-Hulk for a couple of months when the problems she's displaying in this episode seem to have been problems and insecurities for Jen before the incident, so I don't really understand the direction or the message or the development of the character or what we're going for here. And the worst part is that it turns out that Good Boy is actually a bad boy. Congratulations to everybody who saw through that farce. Oh, it's so dumb. Because this show truly tries to make every single guy an evil dude with bad intentions. <laughs> So when it comes to the plot, it turns out good boy Josh was just faking dates with Jen in order to steal some of her blood for a big bad mystery man or woman that we haven't met yet. But don't worry my dear viewers, I have a theory and while yes I think there is only a 1% chance of something like this actually happening because like I said, I care about the show more than the showrunners, I think that Blonsky will end up being the big bad at the end. Again, let me explain. Alright, so there's kind of no reason to reintroduce the character of Abomination when Marvel has previously pretty much erased the Edward Norton Hulk film. The only thing that's happened so far to truly affect the plot, or whatever you want to call it so far, is random people trying to steal Jen's blood. With the early emphasis from Bruce that now that she is a Hulk, she'll always have enemies, and with the reintroduction of Abomination, it's pretty much lining up for another Hulk vs. Abomination round 2. Or round one with She-Hulk. While Abomination I don't think is the big bad, rather it be Bao or some other person controlling the pieces, I do think that even the blood that good boy Josh stole from Jen all leads back to Abomination. And that's pretty much an easy way to introduce a character like Daredevil or Matt Murdock for a clean old fashioned team up lawyer and superhero style when Abomination inevitably breaks his inhibitor chip in order to fulfill what he needs to do with Jen's blood. With Daredevil obviously not being able to fight somebody on the power level of Abomination, but with the power scaling to be able to 1v5 all of the forgettable characters that we were introduced to in this episode like Man Bull, Matador Man, Vampire Man, and Porcupine Man, 
I think it's just an interesting way to be able to introduce a character like Daredevil while still making it feel organic. But like I said, I think about the show more than the showrunners do, so I doubt this is actually going to happen. But hey, it's just my theory. It definitely helped me get past this boring and bad episode. Like I said, I can't believe that we really went from the best to the worst just like that. I truly can't ask for anything nice when it comes to this show, but who knows? Maybe my theory will be right. What the fuck? Imagine. If you liked the video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for future videos, and make sure to go check out some of my older videos. Eventually, we'll get Daredevil and the internet will just go insane. But until then, that's all the words I got for you today, and I'll see you in the next She-Hulk video. Bye.